Hello, I'm Hal Wallman and I'm here with my wife, Diane. We are the chairs of Pittsburgh Ballet Theater's Light, the Holocaust and Humanity Project. The Holocaust was the systematic segregation, persecution, and murder of over six million Jews and almost as many other victims. In addition to Jews, the Nazis murdered Poles, Slavs, political and religious opponents, homosexuals, and people with disabilities. The Holocaust was not the first genocide in history or the last, but it holds iconic status in Western civilization, exemplifying one of mankind's lowest moments. The Nazi regime in Germany held power from 1933 to 1945. On November 9th and 10th in 1938, Kristallnacht, or Night of Broken Glass, marked the beginning of the catastrophe of the Holocaust. In September of 1939, German troops invaded Poland and World War II began. By 1942, there were six extermination camps and over one million Jews were killed in Auschwitz alone. As president of the Holocaust Center of Pittsburgh, these facts and figures occupy my thoughts on a regular basis. More than 70 years after that horrific series of events, we work to ensure that all of these atrocities are never forgotten, but at the same time, we strive to remind all of us that some survived and carried on to make this world a far better place through their talents and strength in the face of adversity. Light, the Holocaust and Humanity Project, brings together two of the things that I am most passionate about. Representing atrocities through the arts has its own set of challenges and problematic issues, but it has been used by artists through the ages to process firsthand experiences of events for those who follow. It has been a privilege and honor for my wife Diane and I to be the chairs of this important and meaningful project at Pittsburgh Ballet Theater. Please join us at the Byam Theater November 12th through the 15th. The collaborative effort of this project includes arts and cultural organizations across the city of Pittsburgh. Many have contributed their talents to raise awareness and educate future generations about the Holocaust. Light, the Holocaust and Humanity Project, has inspired the most extensive list of partners that Pittsburgh Ballet Theater has ever gathered for a production. The Holocaust Center and the Agency for Jewish Learning provide educational programs for all ages. These programs are available not only to the Jewish community, but also to the general public. The Holocaust Center conducts educational seminars to commemorate Kristallnacht. Night of Broken Glass. The Holocaust is recognized to have begun on that night in 1938. This year, the center's programs are the use of comic books in teaching the Holocaust and Cinema Exiles from Hitler to Hollywood. These programs will be held at the Jewish Community Center and the University of Pittsburgh. At the Bayam Theater during the Performances of Light, the Agency for Jewish Learning will present Poland Personally, this exhibit is comprised of personal artifacts buried by Holocaust victims to tell their stories. In the visual arts, Chatham University will mount an exhibit of Henry Kerner's Pittsburgh, which is curated by his son, Joseph. Henry immigrated to Pittsburgh after the loss of his family to the Holocaust. He taught at Chatham and painted his view of the world post-Holocaust. Many of Time Magazine's famous covers were created by Henry Kerner. The Heinz History Center will exhibit the Rao Jewish Archives exhibit, commemorating Pittsburgh Holocaust survivors. At Winchester Thurston Middle School, an annual learning experience for 8th graders includes a trip to the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum in Washington, D.C. The students will create journals following the lives of Holocaust survivors that will be displayed at the Byam Theater during light. Music and dance provide a richness of emotion that touch the soul in special ways. Opera Theater of Pittsburgh will perform Maurice Sendak and Tony Kushner's adaptation of Brundabar. This opera was performed by the children of Theresienstadt, where the composer was also imprisoned. The Carnegie Mellon University Philharmonic will perform a concert of works by prominent European Jewish composers banned by the Nazi regime. The program includes works by Mahler, Schoenberg, and Ullman. It will be performed on the anniversary of Kristallnacht, November 9th.
The culmination of this month-long commemoration will be Pittsburgh Ballet Theater's production of Light, The Holocaust and Humanity Project, November 12th through the 15th. Choreographed by Stephen Mills, Artistic Director of Ballet Austin, this representation of one survivor's journey is Stephen's personal response to the inhumanity of the Holocaust. The idea developed as he processed the events of September 11th, 2001.